Sense and Sensibilities. This is commentary from James Brown. If you're willing to work in person, major employers will pay more for it. That's according to information from ZipRecruiter as sorted by News Nation. Employers are offering an average of 82 grand for fully in-person roles this year, up nearly 40% from around 60,000 last year. Fully remote roles are averaging around 75 grand. Most workers are okay with that dichotomy. Last year, a Washington Post poll found that 55% of fully remote workers are cool with a lower paying job to stay remote. And that's no surprise to me. Depending on where you work and how well it fits you, parking, driving, lunch, dress codes, let alone the nature of offices, gnaw at your salary and sometimes your sensibilities. What I don't understand is what employers get out of bribing their employees back in the cubes. In many ways, it seems that it costs more for us to crowd into offices, suck up electric bills, internet bills. I don't buy claims of higher productivity levels or the obligatory need for culture. To me, the back-to-office movement all screams of a control mechanism. What do you think? Tell me in the comments and support my work at jamesbrowntv.substack.com or email me at jamesbrowntv at gmail.com. You could always leave me a message at 585-484-0339. On that note, I'm James Brown, and as always, be well.